The world is weird. And or wonderful. And I'm taking my little friend Ryan Bergar around to explore every last little bit of it. Hey, where are we today? Oh, I hope you're ready to suck some fizz down that gullet, because we're at Delco's Soda Pop Stop. Island Park, California. Boasting a fizzying array of 600 unique sodas from around the globe in addition to a stupefying spread of beers, wines, and ciders, Galco Soda Pop Stop has been serving the greater Los Angeles area for over 100 years. To find out more, my colleague and I had a chat with the king of carbonation himself, owner John Neese. We are here with John Neese, owner of Galco Soda Pop Stop. John, thank you for having us here. Well, thank you very much for coming. I am a big soda head. Ryan, though. I was particularly excited to bring him here because he is a root beer maniac. I have a crippling addiction to root beer. We're a couple of pop pals. So, We're pop pals. You know, okay. Is, yeah. That's just how it is. At one point, I did own over about 100 bottles of root beer. I did save the bottles. I had them all on my mantle. I tried a new bottle of root beer every Thursday. I made an event out of it, made a day out of it with my roommate. And uh, I'd like to say my palate's pretty refined when it comes to the old RB. Are you ready for a root beer? that's like Kyers, the original root beer. I think you're dropping some terminology that he doesn't even know I was about. just about to say, in a matter of like, what, 10 seconds, you already dunked on me? Yeah. <laughs> I don't know you're what gone. higher is. <laughs> what is higher? I rescind everything I just said. I just like root beer. How about that? Well, that's fine. But in addition to sodas, you also have beers. You got candies. But I can't yeah. cheers the kid at the corner over there with oh, a beer. Oh, that's what you're in it for. You're in it for walking down I mean, the street it's... saying, hey there, Sonny. Ding. Here's a pop. Yeah. Enjoy it. Now I've just made a friend. That is fun. And I've gave him a, a taste of legacy. You might want to shave your mustache before you go around doing that, but... What are you talking about? You got to look to you. <laughs> so how did you get to this? How did this happen? About 20 years ago, the chain stores bought up the distribution channels to the little stores. Mm -hmm. They closed them down. <laughs> and so I'm sitting around and we're going broke. I thought about it and I said, well, in the 80s, they had the big craft beer revival then. And I said, but you have to be 21 to buy beer. But if you have the money and you can reach the counter, you can buy a soda. Basically, we started selling sodas, and I just kept adding them. How many different kinds of soda do you have in here? We run, it's right around 750 to 800. However, most of what you find today, especially in the supermarkets, is corporate America. I do like a squirt. Well, you try a ting. A ting? Yeah. A so, ting comes from Jamaica, originally from Jamaica. Now they I make it I see it, it over all there. Over. Yeah. Well, we'd love to explore the aisles sure. and see what's out there. Perhaps you'd like to, to guide us on this wonderful expedition through the world of we soda. We can do that. Okay. Okay. <laughs> Well, what's this werewolf howling ginger beer? Will I howl like a werewolf when I drink it? Well, I think a lot of young people really like the label. I don't know about soda pops on a lot of smaller brewery beers nowadays. The labels, it'll be like, oh, oh yeah, there's a crazy raccoon on it, and he's got a robot arm, and he drinks blood. You know what? Sometimes you got to have a little fun with the label. Why don't you respect the craft? What's this? Manzana. That means apple in Spanish. I didn't know. <laughs> <laughs> you absolutely have to try these. They come from Greece. They're a new arrival. It's a bergamot orange. <gasps> when I say it's a bergamot orange, I mean it's made with real bergamot and it's made with real mandarin. And it has an orange with a little <laughs> with a little, little bowler hat on it. I pointed this out and you said no. Well, no. I, you, you asked me what I thought. I'm going to put this in the basket for now. Okay. And then we'll see if it makes the final cut. Let's, let's head over to Nostalgia Island. Let's pop open some Jack Black Dead Red Root Beer. One of my favorite root beers from back in the day. A lot of the times I only remember the label. This is one of the few where I remember the name. You've already recommended this, and I'm going to grab it right off the shelf. Ting, this is what Squirt aspires to be. Yes. If you notice, it still has the pulp in it. The reason, Ooh. you know, if you, get, oh. if you get squirt today, there's no pulp in it because the equipment runs so fast, the pulp would clog it all up, so. That makes pulp sense. Pulp clogs. Oh. Sounds exciting. <laughs> Ex we should be in the commercials for really. <laughs> that. I know we shouldn't. You wanted something different? These are kvass. What flavor are we talking here? Yeah, Is that so like a fruit flavor? It's like a grain cereal beverage. I got them in and they just boom, disappeared. 
Really? And then they were out of stock for like a month. Okay. Maybe don't drink it outside. That kind of looks like a beer. What is that? That's a Japanese lychee cream. So when we drink it, it's not like our cream sodas at all. The back end is clean, but the cream flavor is on the front end. It's the cutest little kitty. It's going in the basket. Your, your face has lit up, and you still only have two. I now have four. Don't forget your ginger ale. No. That is a wasabi ginger ale. I gotta be fully honest with you, and Ryan, I don't know where you fall on ginger ale. I'm not the biggest ginger ale. I've seen you order ginger ale several Every times. Every single time I fly. It's the only time I drink it. But you just said you don't like ginger ale. I guess I just don't drink it on the ground. Now, wasabi liquid, that sounds I know. Uh, gross. I know. I would not taste it. I had it for six months here, and when I tasted it, I just went, oh my goodness, this is amazing. And you have a chance to finally taste wasabi and ginger combined together. It's interesting because when I taste wasabi, I don't really ever take in the flavor profiles of wasabi. I just take in the burn. That's it. So now you can actually get up close and personal with it, get to know it a little. Yeah, bring it on the second date. Ask some other questions. I, th I think we've turned a corner. We've, oh. There's about 85 root beers here. No, this is a very oh. dangerous aisle for me to oh, walk boy. down. Hold him back. I have a crippling addiction to root beer. He is a root beer maniac. This is starting to blow my mind now because I'm starting to see root beers I have not seen before. Now that's a label. We don't need no crazy illustration on it. There's no need to be a grouch when it comes to labels. You're going for this? Yeah, I'm gonna go I'd for like this. I'd like to try a little nip of that. Whoa! Oh, he's Wait. fired up! Oh, so delicious. Root beer. Yeah. Have you had it? No, but I'd love to see if I went, whew, so delicious. Maybe. Maybe. You have to try a Moxie if you've never tried one before. I never have. Okay. The guy on the label looks like me. It looks like a generic white guy you made in The Sims. <laughs> Don't I as well? I guess I'm getting crazy now with this beautiful mustache, but. We got some Earp's original sarsaparilla. What do you think about this one? It's a, it's a good sarsaparilla. You know what we love hearing are your funny tombstone quotes. Let's hear one. You want me to quote tombstone right yeah. now? Yeah. Mm, I think I've had enough of your gas. Oh, oh you straight. tombstone heads out there, that's yeah. right. You're gonna do something, you're just gonna stand there and bleed. Okay, that's enough. This is the old English root beer that I was talking about. It tastes like Hires, the original root beer. Oh! And what I learned from it is that Hires was a sarsaparilla root beer. And that's what was the difference between Hires and any every other root beer. There was always this gap. So let's get to drinking. But before we do, I thought we should cap off the whole experience because you in the back of this store have a create your own soda machine. Oh right? yeah. What? That's right. Should we make one for each other? There's a part of me that would like to make some for each other, but I feel like you're gonna enter into some mutually assured destruction crap no, no, no. and you're no. gonna make me a terrible no, soda. No, no, no. I swear <laughs> that I will do my best to make something that I think you would love. I'm not gonna try and get all zany shany on ya. Okay. I'm just gonna give you a good old pop that I think the little Bergmeister would enjoy. I hope you're telling the truth because we now have it on tape and if you don't tell the truth, we everyone, everyone's gonna know you're a big fat liar. I swear. It's very simple. You just take the bottle, you select your type of carbonation, you fill it with water, and then eight to nine pumps will take you up to mid-neck. Pump, pump, pump it up. He likes heavy carbonation. He likes heavy carbonation. I'm gonna give him some light carb because that feels more like a root beer to me. Ooh, boy. I also realize at this moment, I don't really know what Shane likes. I know we're both root beer hounds, but I'm seeing a lot of flavors here, so let's just see how this goes. What would Ryan like? Toasted marshmallow, huh? Ryan just learned that word. Now he's a big, he's a bean head. He loves coffee. I see espresso right there. Well, you could do that. Make a, a coffee cream a soda. Coffee cream soda. Is there sort of a general cream base? A vanilla? I guess. Vanilla is okay, over so here. Okay, so start with that, because he is a, a creamy little guy. All the way. Okay. Yeah. You know, one more. Oh! <laughs> oh, you know what? He'd probably like a little cotton candy. Four pumps of cotton candy. I think he's gonna like that color. So I'll go two pumps of espresso. Oh God, I missed a little. So we've got vanilla and cotton candy. That may be a little, shush. Guess what? I'm gonna make his drink taste terrible because of that. So let's put some uh, mango in it and some maple spice and some toasted marshmallow and some ginger. 
I started out with good intentions, but he had to start yapping his little mouth. What will pair well with the coffee? Uh, let's see. Think, Ryan. Think, think, think. Coconut. We'll go coconut. Okay. Cinnamon. Butterscotch. You know what people love? Chocolate and grapes. So I'll give him a little chocolate fudge <laughs> and some grapes. Yum, yum, yum. Again, started out with good intentions, but old Mr. Bergara wouldn't let me take my time, so this is what he gets. It, this smells like Dimetap. This is disgusting. It, you'd give this to someone when they have a heavy cough. Look at the flavor. Beautiful. Beautiful. Look at Beautiful. this. Beautiful. You know what, this might be pretty good. <laughs> okay, here we go. Now we're going to put a cap on this in this very old fashioned looking machine. Wow, look how official that is. It's like a sealed bottle of cola as if a professional made it, even though that's not the case. Now all you have to do is turn it upside down. It'll mix all the flavors. Maybe it'll smell better now. Maybe. Or maybe it'll smell like a turd in a bottle still. <laughs> I don't know. And then you probably want to mark what, what you're going to call it. Let's call it Big Guy Juice. I went into this with the best of intentions. I can't say I came out with a good product. Only time will tell. John supervised. He looked a little disappointed. And uh, we'll see if that echoes over into Shane. Will Mr. B use impatient soda? Maybe he'll learn a, a little a lesson in a bottle. <laughs> All right, so there's our custom flavor. We're gonna take it over the tasting zone where we're gonna try our various picks and cap it off with our special little bottles. Uh, this way. <laughs> All right, it's the moment we've, I've been waiting for. You've been waiting for this too. This certainly is a lot of soda. Now we have 10 a piece. Yep. So why don't we put 30 seconds on the clock uh -huh. for every single soda, okay. and we'll run through these, just hack through them rapid fire. Okay. Starting off with tea, which is a sparkling grapefruit flavored beverage. All right. <laughs> I didn't even smell it. I just, I just went right in. You know what? It is better than squirt. Holy this. smokes! This is delicious. This is really good. I don't like grapefruit, but I will say that that grapefruit really, it really dances across my taste buds. We got Wyatt Earp sarsaparilla. I love Wyatt Earp. I love the Old West. Hot damn! That's a good root beer. After a hard day of gunfighting, nothing beats a real sarsaparilla. That's what it says. Green River is what we got next. I've had this a lot growing up, but John said they've, uh, the flavor's really taken a turn for even better in the recent years. Yeah, they have, that flavor is even better than I remember. Maybe it's because of the real sugar. How do you feel? No. Well, look, not for everybody, no. but there's for shame. And, well, you like cleaning supplies. <laughs> Ginger ale wasabi soda. Right, it's the wasabi without the burn, right? I don't know what this is. What is this? It's refreshing, yet it's wasabi in liquid form. I don't, I don't, I don't. John boomed you. Now, I don't know much about this one. Frankly, it's in Russian. Two-handing it. What the? This smells like beer. Oh. This smells like straight up beer. It does have like a beer taste to it. This is marvelous. They're handing beer to children. What soda? This is brownie caramel cream root beer. Caramel cream, not camel cream. You don't want that in your soda. Woo! Oh, no! A little drop Oh, some. no. Okay, here we go. <laughs> Yo! <laughs> that is so sweet. <laughs> <laughs> I think my eyelids retreated into my skull. Birch beer. I feel drunk on soda. You know, that's what happens when your pop pals. <laughs> that is fantastic. Yeah, it's like a root beer that's just got a little it's, strong it's bite. A, it's like you're sliding on a slip and slide on 4th of July and there's more slide than you thought. There's a lot of, there's a lot of runway to this birch beer. Wailua Kona Red. I don't know what that flavor is. And unfortunately, due to our time constraints, this is a mystery we'll never be able to crack. And I'm gonna come back for this because I'd like to get to the bottom of this at some point. <laughs> the bottle, I mean. <laughs> I forget the name of this soda, so we'll call it Kitty Cat Cream. That is fantastic. It tastes exactly like Ramune. So long, Kitty Cat. So how you say goodbye to most people. Ooh, honey cream time. Oh boy! Oh boy! Oh, that's that really that, that's fizzing my giblets. You know what it kind of tastes like? What? It tastes like the end of a root beer float when the ice cream is melted, oh, and it's just like that I nice malty. Imagine the floats you could make with this stuff. Any of this stuff. I can imagine the float I'm gonna make with this later. 
I got a burp coming. I'm gonna try and power through it. We have an old Rhode Island mol Sorry. <laughs> molasses root beer. Last sip here. Come on, there you go. This is a bergamot orange. It's not like your classic orange soda. It's got a lot going on there. It tastes there. kind of more tangerine-y, yes. to be quite honest. There's not that much carbonation into it, so it almost is kind of like a hybrid of juice and soda. It's a little cute bottle, look at this. Oh. This makes me look like a giant. Me like soda. <laughs> is this the most soda you've ever had in it your life? It probably is the most soda I've ever had in one sitting, and it happened at age 28. Oh, looks like we got some moxie, baby. Let it sit on your tongue. Let it sit on your tongue. Yep, that tastes like medicine. No, but no. This is Goya coconut soda. Goya. Let me try. Oh, ooh, buddy. That's, ooh, that, oh, that's uh, very coconutty. Incredibly sweet. Ooh. Whoa. I'm interested. I'm, oh, is, where'd you go? Where'd he go? Where'd he go? I'm where'd he on go? the Hawaiian Islands now, baby. I'm Whoa. instantly transported. Yeah, on the beach? Is there a little monkey with you? <laughs> Maybe. Are there monkeys in Hawaii? Yes, uh, what? Where? Yo, oh, we're yes. here at Galco's oh, yeah. Soda Pop stop. <laughs> yeah, that's where we're at. You went on a little vacation. We're now going to the oh so delicious butterscotch beer. Whoa, that is a, that is very strong butterscotch, maybe too much butter. If you like butterscotch, this is your soda. This is a little too much butterscotch. Would like a little bit more leaning towards the root beer. Here's the Manhattan special vanilla cream. I'm a big vanilla man and I love the little flakes of vanilla down here at the bottom. Okay. Oh my goodness, what a beautiful vanilla flavor. I don't think it tastes like much. It tastes like vanilla. Oh, it tastes like, oh, nope, I'm getting it later. That's weird. Oh, oh we oh, got whoa. him! That was a late setting vanilla flavor that slowly just kind of took a seat in my taste buds. Okay. So, this is the root beer I've been looking forward to the most. John has informed me that the first root beer hires made in 1876 in Philadelphia. This is the closest thing you can get to it. This old English root beer by Pentamins. That's good. This tastes like a gentleman's root beer. It's like a root beer that came out of a garden. I could I could see two uh, English gentlemen enjoying this out on the porch. Oh, uh, uh, lovely day for a root beer, Joffrey. I agree, mate. It's very good. Lovely it's day good. for a root beer, Joffrey. Mm. Oh, this is delicious. Thanks. Beautiful notes on the root beer. Uh, well, John, uh, we have gone on a journey, and then we went on another journey. I don't know my own name anymore. <laughs> I am so full of sugar and fizz. He's Sugar Shane now. That's what they call me. That's what they're gonna call him on the streets. This is where Sugar Shane was laid to rest, right on the sidewalk outside of the soda pop stop. We've brought you here to, to share this final drink with us. We each made these wonderful little brews for each other, uh, and we thought we'd cap off this whole wonderful trip with a little, a little final pop for your pal. What do we got here? This is big guy juice. Juice for the big guy. Juice. Wait, take a, take a smell of that. Curious. <laughs> I'm, I'm smelling like some cinnamon. Maybe a little coffee or espresso. This guy's like a goddamn bloodhound. This is insane. I don't know what else. Those are the two strongest things I can smell here. I'm gonna take a little sip. I need some smelling salts. I'm gonna guess vanilla, cinnamon, coffee. You got three of them. Okay. I also put apple on there. Some apple, on my bazanga. You know, I knew you were a big bean head, so I figured I'd uh, give you some bean juice. Some hey, bean juice for me. the big hey, guy. Hey, look, I like a cup of joe. Sue me, your turn. Uh, my turn, here we go. This is called Lil Mr. B's Impatience Soda. Yeah. This looks like you went over to the LA River and just <laughs> yeah. scooped up a bottle of water. Yeah. And now I'm gonna drink it because I'm trusting you blindly. Here we yeah. go. What do you? Okay, it's very sweet. It's overpoweringly sweet, almost. Melon? Melon? Sugar? Mm. Water? Uh, oh, call me. You might have to have a little bit more. I'm so bad at this. I don't know what is in here. Is it a app? No, apple maybe. 
I don't remember. Licorice? I think I put Caramel? in a lot. I just put in a bunch. Here's I called it impatient soda because I was really being meticulous about it. And then you said, hey, hurry up! After two minutes, so I just started putting everything in. That may be a little shush. It's Maybe. just a big old pile of mess. I don't know. <laughs> There's a lot of vanilla in there. And then, oh, a lot of chocolate. I put a lot of chocolate in there too. Yeah. John, do you remember? Black currant. Black currant. What the hell is black currant? It's know. a small grape. Oh, a little grape. Oh, I'm glad to hear it's a grape. That kind of sounded like a spell that he cast I on I thought grapes, chocolate, vanilla. Oh, cotton candy. Yeah, I put some cotton candy in there too. Well, I'm <laughs> glad to see you took the exercise seriously. I was actually trying to make you something you would enjoy. I knew you liked coffee, so I was like, hey, let's get the big guy some coffee. If we could run the tape back, I recall you saying, I am not going to do exactly what you did. I swear <laughs> that I will do my best to make something that I think you would love. Yeah, but I lied. John, I want to thank you so much for <laughs> having us here today. It's been a pleasure. It, uh, thank likewise, you. it has been the pleasure of a lifetime. Thank you, John. Thank you very much for coming. I'm so sorry you had to deal with um, <laughs> with both of us, actually. I hope you it's enjoy it. really good. You yeah. did a great job on this. I know I did. It was very good. Because you're my friend. I don't even know what to say. I'm a bubble boy. I'm all bubbles. I'm bubbles I, now. I, I am certainly different. Did all your root beer dreams come true Oh, I can see it clearly now without glasses. <laughs> Whoa, this is insane. Big effect Holy smokes. Old Bergmeister here. If you're ever in Highland Park, stop here, say hi to John, get yourself some fizz. Yeah, make a day out of it. It's a fun time. It's a fun time. Goodbye.